And now to a local 10 exclusive into the one of the darkest days in American history, the assassination of President John F. Kennedy in Dallas in 1963. More than 50 years after the murder, thousands of classified documents are being released. And Janine spoke exclusively with a local man who knows this case inside and out and just spoke with President Trump about it all. Janine. Calvin Lurie, South Florida resident and notorious political consultant Roger Stone has spent his life researching the Kennedy assassination. He says the documents, which we have just learned, will only be released in a limited portion, are critical and will have major local connections. The last 3,100 files, uh, once they're released, there are no more JFK records that we know of. Roger Stone has fought for the JFK documents for decades. I had an opportunity to talk to the president last Thursday morning when I was in Fort Lauderdale, but I took the opportunity to try to make the case for transparency. Uh, the president listened politely. He asked me a few pithy questions. Uh, he did not tell me what he was going to do. Now that the president has ordered the release. President Kennedy has been shot in Dallas, Texas. What secrets from that day in November 1963 will they hold? Was Lee Harvey Oswald acting alone? Was the CIA or KGB pulling the strings? There's a lot of things in here that I think will be most interesting. The Central Intelligence Agency's psychological profile of Lee Harvey Oswald. Uh, the uh, redacted and uh, yeah, then classified testimony of both anything. FBI and CIA officials before the U.S. Congress. Stone says the documents will include some famous Miami figures and contends the CIA and then Vice President Lyndon B. Johnson were part of a conspiracy to kill JFK. To There's not going to be a bombshell or a blockbuster in these final JFK files. But author CIA Gerald Posner, a Kennedy researcher, contends conspiracy theorists won't find what they're looking Looking for. They're waiting for these files to be opened up and they're going to find evidence of either a second shooter on the grassy knoll or some big convoluted government plot to kill JFK. That's not what they're going to find. After 50 years, everybody involved in these events has passed away. It's time for the American people to get the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And again, President Trump is delaying the release of some files on the JFK assassination that were due to come out today. White House officials say the president will state in an upcoming memo that he had, quote, no choice but to keep other secret because of national security concerns. Calvin. A story